Hi, I'm Melinda and I'm a abuse survivor and I wanted to discuss uh, today why I stayed. Now there are various reasons why many folks stay. There's various uh, reasons why I stayed. I stay first and foremost because I was thinking of the kids. I didn't want to break up the marriage. I wanted to stay, believe it or not, try and work through it. Um, I kept hoping and praying that perhaps he'd change. Um, but we both needed a change. There were different patterns that we were both uh, I was codependent, now I know that, and uh, that we needed to somehow fix it together, and there was no fixing our particular relationship. Maybe your partner does drugs or alcohol, and then they kind of go crazy. Maybe there's some mental instability there that they need to stay on meds for. I'm not quite sure uh, what your reason is, but I know whatever your reason is, it's a valid reason and it's a concerning reason, and it's a serious issue. It's a serious reason to each his own. Uh, for me, again, it was I didn't want to break up the family. Also, I wanted to make sure I had financial backing. I didn't, I didn't. I, the first time we left, we had the clothes on our back. Um, my in-laws were kind enough to give us a few dollars there, a little more than a few dollars to get us going. I went to a woman's shelter, so that's the place we went to the first time. The second time, I was Thank goodness, I was blessed to have my sister's place and my brother-in-law's place to go to. Uh, there's some folks that live in cars, and they have nowhere. They're just out on the streets. There's also um, health care. Health care reasons is another reason why I stayed. I knew I was going to lose my insurance. It was great insurance at the time. This was before Obamacare, but don't get me started with the health care system now. Um, but I knew in my heart those reasons those reasons were not a good reason to stay. I was losing my mind, I was losing my sanity, I was losing my, my self-worth. You have to break, break down, you have to hit rock bottom before you say, okay, enough's enough, I can't do this anymore. I can't uh, see my children crying because I'm broken on the floor, or bleeding, or, uh, or you know, I'm in public and something just happened, an incident, and I couldn't do that anymore. I just knew in my heart that things had to change. They weren't going to change with him. And there are some folks that actually do. From what I've been told, they actually do change. My situation, mm -mm. and we were, I was in this situation for 20 plus years. It wasn't changing. So I had to change. I had to change and it was very scary. The whole situation was very scary. It was something new. I was comfortable with where I was at. I knew I was not um, comfortable with myself. My self-esteem was in the bucket. I didn't believe myself to be anything more than what he told me, and that was good on my knees. And he said, I probably lost that out. Uh, he continually told me I was ugly, I was fat, I was just a worthless bick. Um, I would never amount to anything. I'd be just, he called it trailer trash. No offense to anybody living in a trailer because I know some good people and I know some great trailer parks. Um, but that's what he told me. I'd just be nothing but some two bit used up whore. Probably do drugs and it's not me. Those were words and words hurt sometimes worse than, than physical stuff. Words, if you hear it enough, you start believing it. <laughs> Wherever you are, whatever point you're at right now, in your relationship, in your struggle, in your journey, please know you can get through it. It's hard work. It's damn hard work. You can do it. You do need a good support system, whether it be family member, friends, a police social worker, Please trust somebody enough to let them know what you're going through. You can get through it. There are resources out there. There's uh, government resources that can help take care of you and your family, your fur babies, whatever you have that's going on in your life right now. It's not as important as you. You and your, your kids, your fur babies, those are important. Your things, you just leave your things there. Things can be replaced. You, your children, your fur babies. I know I keep saying fur babies because I do hear a lot from uh, from folks that don't have children with their partners. They do have um, dogs or cats or other types of animals, rats and, and snakes and so on. Right. Tangent there, I'm running off, but uh, 
those other things the toaster the season tickets to baseball game football game those can be replaced um, you can't you cannot be replaced you are special and God made you unique and you can't be replaced you need to tell your story you need to get your story out there you need to break the silence of abuse whatever it is whether you're going through sexual abuse whether you're going through physical abuse emotional mental abuse you need to get your story out there you don't have to do what I'm doing you don't have to do that but you do need to tell somebody you need to get guidance you need to get help when you're ready I can't say hey girl guy you need to leave now when you hit your rock bottom that's when you'll go I hope you get out safely there's a lot of folks out there that don't there's a lot of men and women that aren't lucky kids that aren't lucky like like me and my kids were um, we were very blessed I see stories and news stories about those abused they never get out or those that are abused those survivors that maybe let their guard down or maybe the police didn't take them seriously enough or maybe they didn't have a pal a friend to confide in and um, they don't make it out wherever you are please 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 I can't beg you enough please get help um, I told myself I'm not gonna cry darn it but please get help um, have someone find help for you if you can't do it maybe you're in a situation where you physically cannot um, get help uh, where your abuser might be watching you 24 7 and that does happen but please no matter where you are if you need to email me please bless me please it's b-l-e-s-s-m-e-p-l-z -S -S -E at gmail.com email me I will help you no matter what state you're in whether you're in Europe I've helped some folks I've given them resources that were um, in Australia overseas uh, some folks I tried to help with guidance that were on Indian reservations so um, I'll help you however best I can I can't physically be there but I am there in spirit and I'll help you however I can even if it's just to listen to some emails that you want to send back and forth that's fine too I'm done with that I'm good with that um, but please I'm praying for you I am um, always wondering about those that I hear from how they're doing so Please, if you're out there and you hear me, please get back to me. But stay safe. Um, big hugs. Sorry for rambling on too much. And sorry, I got my kids running around here. Um, but be careful. Wherever you are, whatever your journey is, be careful. Stop it, Kevin. <laughs> and uh, God bless. Out. This is now. Bye.